was a little sketchy. So there's been something in the works, something that I have been hiding from you guys. These really cool roam free t-shirts came in hot off the press just yesterday. Heidi and the kids ship these shirts straight off the ranch. They have our logo right on the left sleeve and anyone who becomes a $10 or more a month Patreon supporter will send one of these out to you for free or you can find these t-shirts and this hat on our website. I want to check this swarm trap to see if we have anything in it. And it doesn't look like we do. I saw a wasp around that opening the other day and it got me excited. False alarm. The small pond is pretty full. We got some pretty good rain last night. Um, I guess I shouldn't say a lot of rain, just a lot of lightning. I'm gonna start cutting on these pipes today. We need to cut them into eight foot sections, but some of them have to be chopped at an angle to be able to uh, be used as H braces. I need to figure out how I want to set this up because I really don't want to move all this stuff twice. Okay, it looks like we've got two cutoff wheels, I'm trying to see what all we need before we run up to the store. I think what my plan is, is I'm gonna take this trailer right here, we'll take the water tank off of it, and then we'll run up to the local uh, hardware farm store, and we'll get two pallets of concrete, and then we'll come back and we'll start cutting on pipe, and we'll load the pipe up on to the front of the trailer. It's too heavy, it's got quite a bit of water in the bottom. We're gonna have to empty it first. Well, that's not gonna work, because I just remembered I need my water tank to be able to put water in the holes with the concrete. So, we're gonna push the water tank up to the front of the trailer, and then what we'll have to do is we'll have to use a separate trailer, which I was trying to avoid, We'll probably use this one or the back of the truck with all the uh, oil filled pipe because we're gonna have concrete, water, and oil filled pipe. And then we'll have welders set up and generator. We'll have a whole rig that this is gonna, this is gonna be like a, a train. This old trailer is in pretty sorry shape. It's missing uh, wheels off the axle and burned up the bearings. So I've left them off because it's a triple axle and they always want to blow out tires on triple axles. So dual axles worked pretty good for me, um, but the, the whole deck is messed up. It's just, it's dilapidated. It needs redone. That's one of the projects that I'm looking forward to, to be able to pull it into that barn and actually fix it up someday whenever we have some free time these days i'm not even sure what free time is we'll go over to the wood pile and get rid of some of this wood and then clean out some of these uh, unused cables and chains and stuff in the back of this truck that way it's all cleaned out and ready to go These are my buddy's cables. Those need to get out of here. This needs to go in the trash. It's a bit wet. 
windy out today, but man, it's beautiful. I'd like to hold off getting the concrete right now, but they have a sale that ends tomorrow, of course. So we're gonna head up and we're gonna get some concrete. I decided not to get the concrete from uh, Home Depot, but decided to get it from somewhere local because I'd like to have it on the trailer and not have to load it twice. So we're gonna pick up the concrete, get a couple other supplies. Hopefully we'll see if they have any more fencing, uh, high tensile wire. If they don't, then I'll find it at another store and then we'll come back and we'll do some cutting on the oil field pipe. I wish I could do the cutting on the oil field pipe first, but we need to get this concrete before it goes off sale. I need two pallets of that. Well, they don't have the wire we need. Whole rows of Gallagher. These guys are pretty good. Appreciate your help. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. There's a lot of weight on the back end of that trailer, which makes the back end of the truck really light. We're going to take it slow on the way home. Everyone else thinks I'm going slow, too. It wouldn't have been so bad if they could push it on the middle of the trailer, but that forklift was a little too small to push two pallets of concrete all the way up to the middle of the trailer. Two pallets together weighs over 6,000 pounds, so you need a decent forklift to actually push that much weight. And unfortunately, I have high sides on the trailer, so you can't load it in from the side. We'll just take it slow. I think we'll be doing about 30 miles an hour all the way home. Anytime I get over that, that trailer wants to fishtail. If I would have thought about it, I would have put some water in that water tank. That would have balanced me out a lot better. That was a little sketchy, going down a big hill. It was pushing me faster and faster and then started fishtailing. Didn't realize how fast I was going. It's only like 35 or 40, but it didn't like it. Well, we made it in one piece. We're gonna run over to the top of the hill here and grab a generator and then we'll head back over to the barn. Well, the generator's on. We're going to take and fill up this water tank a little bit to even out the trailer. One of the great things about having a waterfall for a pond like this, you can fill up water tanks for the concrete holes. All I have to do is connect this PVC pipe and run it out to that water tank, flip the switch, and the pump that is inside of this pond right here just pumps it right all the way up to that water tank. It's very useful. And then in the summer, this all cascades down into the pond. He's got little kittens running around here. You can definitely feel this load. I think it's somewhere around 13,000 pounds or so, if not more. It's pretty heavy, the truck doesn't like it. 
Put it in four wheel drive though and she moves. Well, what do you say we cut some pipe? Okay, so according to our plans, we need 48 H braces and 79 posts. So what I can do is these, all, all these 16 foot sections have this collar on them, almost all of them anyway. So we'll bust them in half and then we'll use the ones that have the collar on them as the posts and the ones in the other eight foot that does not have a collar, we'll use that as the H brace and we'll trim off a little bit on the side. It'll fit nice and snug and that way I'll be able to make a clean weld around it. Of course, I left the tape measure at the house. I have two tape measures and they're both at the house. This is what I need. side with the collar on the edge can get loaded straight up into the truck or the trailer one of these two I've got to figure out where to put it I think I'm gonna to try to stack as much on the trailer as I can that way if I need the truck I can detach the truck and use it and this one, since it does not have a collar on the edge, I need to use it as an H brace, at least some of them, like 48 or 49 of them, I thought I said. Uh, so we'll set these ones aside, and that way we can start piling up braces onto the trailer and then come back to this. But I have a few that are already cut, so I'm gonna pull these off here first. The magic of editing, I always know before you guys, but it seems like you guys know a lot faster than I do. I don't know how that works. I gotta be honest, the way all projects go, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get to the holes today I guess we'll find out though. If I were to count up how many times I would be handling all of this pipe, I unloaded it, loading it onto the saw, and then 
unloading that pipe and that pipe. So that's, I guess you could count that as three if you're busting it in half. Then we're gonna pick up that pipe, cut the angles off. So that's three and a half. And then you're gonna load it back onto a truck. That's four. And then, and then from there we put it in the holes and that would be five. So five times handling this before it actually gets in the hole and does what it's supposed to. It's about time to change the blade on that. It's gotten a little too small. It gets so small and you have to roll the pipe around to be able to cut it, but it's so small now that it's almost impossible to roll that pipe around. If I can remember if this is reverse thread or not, I always forget. 11 sixteenths. See if we can get a better grip on it with some vice grips. There we go. That is what came off of it. This is what's gonna go on it. A little bigger. You hear all that grinding? All that is metal shavings. When this blade gets really small, what it does is it builds up, it builds up all this metal shavings inside the shroud. So when you put a new blade on, you gotta make sure it runs free before you turn the saw on. It might break it loose, but better safe than sorry. What a mess. All this is socket sets. All just junk I've got to go through. I've got to organize all these tools. But first we've got to get the fence up. New blades, new grinding wheels. I love it. It always cuts like butter. Well, let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Not there yet. So we need 18 more H braces. Let's see how many posts we have. We have one, 24, 25, 26. 18 more H braces and a bunch more posts. Well, that's all the pipe we're cutting for today. Our wheel is pretty small and that's all I have left. So it's too late to go get more cutoff wheels. So everything is cut in half at least. So all right here is gonna be H braces. Those are all eight foot. And then over here we have two 16 footers. There's a couple that are extras and some scrap. And then everything in the truck here, in the back of the truck, uh, and then on this trailer here and here, those are all my posts so all the posts are loaded up so basically everything that is left is just to take those H braces and we will notch them so we'll take them on the saw and we'll cut an angle on either side of that and that will allow it to fit over that post snugly and then that way we'll be able to make a nice clean weld 
So all that still needs prepped and all the stuff in the truck is ready to go. That truck is fully loaded down. That's a lot of weight between all the pipe and the generator and the water and concrete, the trailer and the truck itself. It is uh, definitely going to be working out. I was hoping to be able to get to putting in post today, but obviously that did not happen. So that'll happen next time, but we've got a lot of the prep work done. So once we cut those uh, H braces, I think it will go fairly smooth. It's an absolute beautiful sunset this evening. The wind finally calmed down, so it's really calm and uh, just beautiful out. So we're gonna leave the truck in here. We've got everything loaded down. We're just gonna leave it all hooked up. Um, <laughs> those tires are sagging quite a bit. It uh, could use that third axle right now, given all that weight, but it'll do fine. We're just keeping it around the farm, not taking it over the road, so it'll be all right. But yeah, she's definitely working. Need to head over to the Buffalo and uh, check on them, check on their feed, make sure they don't need any more feed tonight. And I've got something to tell you over there. A little bit of a sneak peek anyway. What do you think of those coyotes, Wolf? They're no match for you, huh? Well, I didn't get half of what I really anticipated getting done today, getting that concrete. Took a long time, um, but we've got a lot of the prep work done and just a little bit more prep work and then we'll be able to run full speed at that fence. So there's been something in the works, something that I have been hiding from you guys. I can't tell you yet, uh, but I promise it will come soon. And I think, I think it will happen in the next video. I won't get into any details, but it's something that you guys are gonna be really excited for, I promise and Heidi and I are tremendously excited, and the kids also. So stay tuned for next video, um, and I think you might have some fun with it. So thank you guys for watching. We appreciate your support. If you guys are interested in joining our Patreon, there's a link in the description of this video. Also, at the end of every video, there's a link to our Patreon account. Anyone who donates over $10 per month, we're sending out one of those Roam free t-shirts as a thank you, but even if you can give one dollar, it is tremendously helpful. Anything helps the ranch and helps us move forward with the buffalo. So thank you guys. We'll see you next time.